so, uh, so, so that's the topic that we are going to do. Uh, uh, my name is Tathagat uh, and this conversation we are also having under the aegis of uh, the Agile Leadership Network, that uh, uh, chapter we have for Bangalore. I just want to take a minute and just talk about the Agile Leadership Network also, which was basically started in Massachusetts in 2005 as Agile Product Leadership Network. Um, and the founders include uh, Jim Highsmith, David Anderson, Mike Cohen, uh, Christopher, Christopher Avery, Todd Little, Pollyanna Pixton, Doug DiCarlo, Donna, and Lovell. And, and what Agile Leadership Network is really about is dedicated to the evolution of leaders at all levels, striving to transform teams, organizations, and enterprises by applying Agile leadership principles and values. Um, a couple of us here volunteer for the ALN Bangalore chapter, which is a completely non-commercial, community-driven uh, uh, activity, basically. Uh, and I have, uh, actually, I have uh, Prasad here, and uh, I have Gopal here as well, if they can just uh, raise their hand. Sujata is a part of that as well. What we do is basically we try to have see such conversations with the leadership and try and understand more about that. So this is one of uh, the events, and we are also happy to have uh, two of the sponsors here from, uh, from Digite and from NIIT as a part of this panel. So with that, I would like to just set the context here, because some, sometimes we say that the large companies say that Agile, you know what, it doesn't really scale up to the rigors of my business. So I cannot really use Agile for any innov innovative processes. Whereas some people who might be used to a more lightweight or more freewheeling culture, for example, of innovation, they say, you know what, why should we even have these kind of things there? My innovation process as it is is good enough there. So what is the real answer there? Is it to have Agile uh, as an answer, as an antidote for, as, as a, uh, uh, I won't say antidote, but at least as a panacea for uh, stimulating or catalyzing innovation? Or are there other be better methods to do that? So with this panel, uh, uh, we would like to explore some of these uh, questions there. And what I would do is I would uh, go with the, with the lady in the team here first. Uh, and I would uh, talk about Sujata, who heads Voltec India operations as the chief operations officer and delivery head. And she has been instrumental in playing the key role for transformation journey of Voltec India to become agile. She's passionately driven, uh, results-oriented, customer-centric. Uh, and she, she believes a lot in continuous improvements and operational excellence using multiple process models of excellence. So uh, Sujata, uh, uh, thanks for joining the panel and welcome to the panel. Uh, what I would like to understand from you in your business that you come from, what is your perspective of what does Agile mean to you when it comes to innovation? Okay, good evening and thanks to um, um, ASCII for really encouraging us to have this session. Thanks to all of you. Yeah, uh, coming back to Agile,